up. And volume looks okay. All right. Durano here. Welcome back to Disco Elysium. Uh, been a busy week for me. I know I used to do about an hour and a half to two hours on these vids. Um, today's going to be another short one for Disco. Um, hopefully I can pick it back up uh, again um, in the next few days once things start clearing up a little bit. Uh, but for now, um, wow, we're on... We're on day eight and found out we're, we're starting to piece things together finding out a lot of information got to getting more done finally um i still have a crap load of tasks i have not taken care of it, it's like the tasks just keep piling up and i i'm knocking some down just very slowly but hey first run through again it's been a while since I played an RPG. I'm learning as I go, but I'm enjoying every moment of it. The story in here is great. The exposition, the background is insanely huge. The amount of information that they have in here. Um, but without further ado, let's get started. Uh, last uh, video, I think I was going to see, was it her name, Joyce? Uh, in regards to finding some information about the drugs that are being trafficked as well as I need to open the door for Everart, if I'm saying the name right, um, after having gotten the key from Manana. So let's get started doing that. I think I'm going to see Joyce first and get that part done. I've no, I know I'm standing by the door, but let's deal with that first. I do want to open that door, and I do want to go inside. I know he said just to open the door, but I'm insanely curious. Good or bad thing, I don't know. Probably gotten me into more trouble than anything. Okay, Joyce. Let's get on over there. If you're just joining me for, for the first time, I've got all my vids up on YouTube, all my streams. You can see Disco Elysium previous videos, as well as any of the other games that I've played. And I've got a lineup of other games I want to play also. Uh, be sure to subscribe there. And you'll be able to check all check all those out, as well as get notifications. And that's just hey Zexa, how you doing? <laughs> How's things going? You're back. Good. What can I help you with? Uh, let's see here. Spoke with Everart. You have. And how did you like Mister Clare? Finally, he was weird. Time to choose. Sides. Aha, uh -huh, okay. He's a beautiful man. <laughs> I, lo I love the choices. He's a bloated rainbow socialist. I can do business with him for a socialist. He's, uh, he is not the champion I've chosen. I wish to swear fealty to you. Ah, it's not important. If I liked him, I was doing my job. That's probably how I'd be. Of course, detective. Excuse me for implying otherwise. The RCM does not pick sides in this. I hope it doesn't come off any other way. Yeah, I was just saying, Zexa, that uh, it might not be a long one today. It's been a really busy week for me. I'm trying to squeeze in as much as I can. Uh, of course. And I don't expect you to share anything he told you with me. I'm not a corrupt verm myself. However, if you felt like discussing something, how could I stop you? Are we not human? Are we not curious to hear another person's take? <laughs> it's only natural. We would only be gossiping. Intellectually speaking, it would be quite interesting to hear what she has to say about these things. I agree. Tell her she'll like you for it. Wait, what? Uh, let's see. I helped him turn up the heat on the board. Wait, what? Let's do this. Did you now? What sort of borscht is he making? The strike brew. That's a classic. And by turn up the heat, I presume you mean put more alcohol in it. <laughs> Beyond curious. 
I will choose to interpret that as you turning the alcohol in the strike brew down. For the sake of our professional relationship. And because I'm not I don't sure I like this lady. I don't think I've met anybody that I've liked so far yet. Are. What else? Aside from Kim. Kim's so far pretty cool. Uh, do I want to mention... Uh, you know what? I've mentioned my gun to pretty much every, everybody knows this already. It might as well be on the news. Oh. The lieutenant looks at you. <laughs> and you can swear his jaw muscle is trembling. Uh, He's able to sweat. contain the anger and surprise. When I said be wacky, I didn't mean wildly, <laughs> grossly irresponsible and damaging to the RCM. <laughs> I'm well aware I am being wildly and grossly irresponsible. Unconventional police officers sometimes lose their guns. They then go around and tell people about this to gauge their reactions. It's all part of detecting. And Kim with a cover. See, that... that Again, Kim so far, he's he's okay in my book. He, he's slick. He knows how to cover. He's my buddy. Incredible. Simply incredible. And how is it going? Has this detecting produced a gun? <laughs> Did he now? Well, and it should be any day now. Unless, of course, he's lying to you. Anyway... Was there anything else you've heard? Hmm, perhaps he is. Of course, detective. Okay. Should something come up later down the road? Don't be afraid to drop by for a chat. Okay, well, that's interesting. No mention of the of the information I got in Lori about the about the drug routes. Until then, is there anything I can help you with? Hmm. Yes, my eyes on the harbor have sent word to that effect. Oh, skill discovered? point. Wait, where exactly are these eyes? Lo you know what? Before I ans ask that question, let's see what I can throw in here now. Uh, Inland Empire is charm. Or no, that's not. Hunches and gut feelings. I'm not sure I can trust my hunches and gut feelings, just considering the way my brain has been this throughout this game. Um, hmm. Visual calculus has been somewhat handy, at least in the beginning. Encyclopedia just ends up making me read a whole lot. I have absolutely no authority. I, I think, yeah, no, no, no authority. Uh, there should be a way to fix that, I think. Half Flight came into play a few times. Let the body take control, threaten people. Okay. I don't know why I haven't seen that. I, I was looking for that for the longest time, and I just found that now. Perception is always good. And where it's... This will be the first, uh... Hmm. Understand creativity. Logic. You know what? I think I'm gonna go... That'll be the first skill I bring up to six. Perception. I always found that handy in almost any RPG I've played. So I'm going to do that. Where exactly are these eyes located? It doesn't really matter. And I do apologize for the surveillance. Wild Pines can't afford to be blind at a time like this. One of the tall buildings overlooking the roundabout, most likely. That would give them a read on the entire quarter. Hmm. In any case, it's a relief to know someone has looked into it. If I may ask, will there be an official investigation? I assume you discovered there is an operation. If there is an investigation, it will be part of an ongoing operation, subject to confidentiality. I am sure you understand. Of course, Detective. Him is so slick. In any case, you've held up your end of our arrangement. I trust you with the rest. Now it's my turn. I wouldn't normally break protocol like this. But the situation demands it. If you don't solve this murder, I'm afraid we may have a bloodbath on our hands. Oh, we're screwed. The words bloodbath sound cold in her mouth. They taste of iron and strawberries. Tell me again. I have an indirect role to play, I'm sad to say. My employer experienced a momentary lapse of faith in me. In that moment, they elected to deploy a private military contractor. 
as an insurance measure. They called it my security detail. Momentary left. Eight. After I relayed the union's initial offer. Huh. Every worker. A member of the board. I tried to convince my employer it was simply a piece of rhetoric or a joke. They did not appreciate the humor. Absolutely not. These mercenaries are muscle, pure and simple. They are meant to intimidate the union into surrendering. Hmm. Who are they exactly? Cronel, an Oranese military company. As far as I know, three arrived in Martinez. They report to me sporadically, but they do not answer to me. To be frank, our relationship is deteriorating. Oh. They wear ceramic armor, have semi-automatic weapons, and years of combat experience. How'd they get they here? They also have trauma and stressor disorder, and no idea how to conduct themselves in an urban civilian environment. So how they managed to knock somebody with years of combat experience out? So, what happened? The story is, one of them, the Colonel, I don't know his real name, sexually assaulted a local woman oh. while he was drunk and separated from his unit. This allowed some of the more militant Union members to subdue him. He was taken out behind the whirling in rags and lynched last Sunday night. Nothing. Mr. Clare refuses to let me into the harbor. I have not been able to discuss this matter with anyone there. The remaining two Cronell contractors carry out their orders for now. It's a smokescreen. In secret, they are conducting an independent military tribunal into the lynching. Once this investigation is concluded, uh -huh. executions will follow. Bloodbath. What is the nature of this so-called investigation? Whether to execute one, some, or all of the Union militants. Oh. It will be all of them. The decision is already made. I have to say this. This is not Disco. Maybe the investigations can team up. No share resources and intelligence. Um... Well, it's definitely not disco and that is not good if i'm wondering if we team up if i can use the information or share different information and throw them off to prevent a bloodbath but then of course they might be onto me eh, everybody's onto me surely you're joking these people are killers my only hope is that yours provides a single, concrete suspect before they indiscriminately pick theirs. Simply put, if you don't pin this on someone good and do it fast, huh. they will identify and execute everyone present at the lynching. This in turn will force the Union to respond. The Debarder have over 2,000 men. It will be a thousand to one. Have you ever seen a Hornet invade a beehive, Lieutenant? It's not pretty. The Serais giant hornet, the world's second largest insect, can kill 40 honeybees a minute, while a group of 30 can decimate an entire hive of 20,000 bees in less than four hours. That's crazy. These men work in tandem using semi and fully automatic firearms. Their armor is virtually impenetrable to muzzle-loaded weapons, even yours. Most Union workers don't have guns at all. As I said, a bloodbath. Okay. Hmm. Well, yeah, it is pretty bleak. Many bleak scenarios have already come true. Nameless, <laughs> badgeless detective of the citizens' militia. All we can do is keep the rest from going the same way. One single concrete suspect delivered into civil court, and I may be able to defuse this situation. Okay. You said the deceased assaulted a woman. Or he didn't. This is information passed on to me from some teenagers loitering around the canal. I cannot testify by it. Okay, the who did the passing contractors, on? Their tribunal. It's what they believe. That the man was killed because he assaulted a local woman. I've asked around a bit. This seems to be the accepted story around Martinez. The lieutenant consults his notebook, his eyebrows knitted in concentration. Ah, uh, we haven't heard any reports about yeah. the assault in connection with the lynching. Hadn't Where did that. it take place? Hadn't and seen when? a uh, hadn't seen anything regarding the assault. Last Sunday night, at the whirling in rags, 
stopped at the hostel by the gates. Supposedly, the colonel was drunk. Maybe on narcotics, too. Okay. Either way, he's alleged to have sexually assaulted a woman. Sometime later, a group of dock workers got their hands on him. That's a good question, officer. I don't have the slightest idea. As I said, it's a rumor. About a rumor. In any case, it's what the colonel's remaining colleagues believe. You meet her soon enough, you feel. Hmm. Okay. Did she know him? If you mean, did I see him alive? Yes. But I did not know him. Lerly. His service name. A nom de guerre, most likely. He wouldn't divulge his full name. Only one of them did. A bad sign if there ever was one. Hmm. He was 40. Or 50. It's hard to say which. He had a combat injury on his lower jaw. It made it difficult to estimate his age or gauge his spatial expressions. Oh, wait, what? Indeed. This matches the dental reconstruction oh. we saw on the body. What else? Nationality? Accent? He was uh, Occidental, I think. Light brown hair, a mixed accent, Oranese, or Missinian, maybe. His injury gave him an accent all his own. In a way, it was humanizing. He had to learn to speak through it, hmm. through the injury. That's all I know, I guess. I and only met him once. Yeah, the remaining, the remaining two mercs? They've gone to ground, as it were. I don't recommend seeking them out. For one, they're almost certainly armed to the teeth. Is she having issues? They don't have the same respect for the Revachol citizens' militia as I do. To put it bluntly, they think you're vigilantes, ghetto savages. It will not be a fruitful meeting. Now oh, we still need to know where they are. You're likely to run into them eventually. When that happens, I'll be in a better position to mediate if I don't appear involved. Okay. Wait, hold on. Plus one clothes didn't fit right. Plus one scab leader built like brick. Okay. One is obviously the scab leader at the harbor gates. The one chanting the idiotic slogans. He's barely maintaining his disguise. Aha. Uh -huh. The other has a vantage point in a building south of the roundabout. They were keeping tabs on you while you were canvassing the lorry drivers. That may be so. I still hope you heed my advice. There's no need to kick the hornet's nest. For all your talk of averting this catastrophe, the situation at the gate is a border keg. Does this not bother you? Of course it bothers me, Lieutenant. But my hands are tied. How would my employer react if it appeared I were intervening on behalf of the Union? True. Your concern may be appearances. Ours is keeping the peace. Okay, and the other one? You would afford a good vantage point. In any case, it's practically inaccessible. Where is your radio for contacting them, if I may ask? Do you have an earpiece? Heavens no. I'm not an undercover agent. There's a short wave at the ship's wheel. Okay. I hope I can answer it better. How much time do we got? Until the executions start. Truthfully, I don't know. It depends on their progress identifying the members of the lynch mob and their impatience. They don't report their progress to you? Not on this matter. I'm afraid they consider this a personal initiative. It's a matter of days, not weeks. Uh, maybe learning a bit about the credit might help. Not much. Their public resume is relatively good, as far as private military contractors go. I believe they were once called Downwell. They boast a long list of clients. Saint-Baptiste, Welchman Lorenz, Eendracht. A warning sign, however. The operations concerned all take place in third or fourth world countries. Guarding facilities, escort missions and such. Meaning they are used to operating in war zones. Yes. All the good conflict corridors, Supramundi, Yesut, the Seminese Islands, countries that don't have a good record reporting atrocious military conduct on their soil. Okay, anything Sadly, else? Sadly, no. Before this happened, Blech. I had little interest in them. Now that I do, I don't have the resources. 
If you still have access to the ICP's database, you could run a better background check than I ever could. It may take some time, though. The International Collaboration Police, ICP, is charged with coordinating law enforcement activities in complex multinational investigations. Their database is the single largest source of information in the world. Do you know a lot about the inner workings of the RCM and the ICP, man? In my line of work, it pays to do your research. I was prepared to deal with the RCM. I did not think I would be dealing with a group like Crenell. Huh. I have, and they will. However, these orders take time to reach what is basically a rogue unit out in the field here. Until they do, it's all on us. She's being truthful. She is pressing them as hard as she can. Okay. I am sorry to have been the bearer of bad news. If there oh. is anything else I can help you with, please ask. Tattoos. Of course. Excuse my hesitation before. For about half a minute, in silence, she wears fingerless gloves. Her fingernails are cut short and fractured, like those of a working woman. It was taken with a trigger not long ago. This is the man's <clears throat> upper body. There were no more markings on his hands or legs. Her mouth is relaxed. The accordion lines near her mouth vanish. The per uh, sorry. Oops. I was trying to see if I can read the web of interdependencies between these points, the stars. I can't. But that's how you read this story. The points themselves don't have letters, numbers, anything. Their size, location on the body, and distance from each other tells you what they represent. Oh, what? Close. Port cities. This is an Oranese map of the waterways. A sailor's tattoo worn by wayfarers of the Dolorian century, over 300 years ago. The sailors would mark their bodies to map oh. their travels. The sailor's soul would use it to fly back home if they should die abroad. This is a sort of contraption to be reeled back in by. The silver cord, they would call it. Quite a few. Vredefort, the Oranese capital. Traditionally stands on the right shoulder. He started somewhere near here, I think. What next? Then he made his way to the Preto Grandi, through what I think must be the Stutz Canal, an artificial channel through the Occident. From the Preto, he sailed to the Insulindic Ocean, first the Semnese Islands, then this. What's that? Revershop. Those are the two constants. Redefort on the shoulder and Revachol in the heart. They started the tradition of these maps right after the discovery of Insulinde, at the dawn of the inter age. The old, old world passing by, and the new, new world already here. You said you can't read it. I can't. This man was no sailor, and these are no ports. I can understand geographic fragments, but not their meaning. Well, who could tell me more? Platoon members? Oh, yeah, the contractors, true. though I do not suggest you go and show them that picture. <laughs> this man was their friend and comrade. Surely there are other people to ask about the tattoo. This is not necessary to complete the task, officer. It's a dangerous side task. Nah. Search elsewhere. Challenge accepted. I say we do it. Hmm. I'm, to be quite honest, not sure. I'll leave it off. I am relieved you think so. I don't think deciphering There's that other tattoo should ask. come before public security. Is there anything else I can help you with? Okay. Wow. So someone's been a little boring. Wait, what? Oh, I'm not. Get out of here. <laughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay. So we got that part. Oh, we got some information out of that. Next thing I need to do... Can I go up there? Uh, I got a door to open. Let's see if we get that door to the weasel open, and hopefully he won't be home. Or whoever the weasel is won't be home. And I can do some snooping. And there was also some other areas that I kind of want to try to get to. That I... The, what? What was that? something down here 
Um. Okay. Uh, is there a way to get down there? I don't see anything lit. And there's the guy that's still missing a ball. Uh, let's go to... Oh, that mercenary's got to be up in that building to the left, I'm guessing. And there's that lady. Dang it. I still haven't figured out how to get up there. Let's... I'm going to save real quick and then... Oh, wait. I still got to go through frickin' Kuno's place. Wait, what's this? Oh, shoot. I don't know if I hit it right. Nothing new at Kuno's. Trying to see how much I can get done in the next... Hmm... Half hour or so. Uh... Oh wait, no, that's not what I want. I'm an idiot. I'm not going through Kuno's. It's behind this... Ah, jeez. My internal map is broken. At least I saw something. I, I don't know. I'm probably just a red herring since it doesn't let me click on anything, but now I'm really curious about that grate, too. Uh, no shortcut. Nope. Okay. I gotta go around to where Kuno's buddy is. Not seeing anything. Ooh. Uh. I kind of want to get to that door first. It is, what, nine? Yeah, 936. Okay, not too bad. Still can't do anything about this wall, can I? Just an ordinary nope. wall. Ordinary wall. There's a little shit brick. All right. There's the weasel. I'm going to go ahead and save this because... I've done enough stupid crap. And let's go inside. This must be it. The basement door is weather-worn. The copper nails holding the upholstery in place have turned green from sea air, and there's a knocker shaped like a lion's head. The leather upholstery is worn and rough against your jaw. You don't hear any movements. Oh. It's leather-covered? Did I miss that? Oh, yeah. Guess so. In fact, it's oddly silent in the yard around you. No birds chirp. You knock silently. The upholstery muffles the sound. No response comes from the apartment. Ah, uh, this sounds pretty good. I guess no one is in. What's your opinion of this task we're going to take? Yeah, what do you think? Let's be honest. This isn't what I joined the RCM for, but every <laughs> day tells you something new about yourself. Apparently, Working with the local union boss to get info on an investigation is not something I'm squeamish about. Good man. If the Merc Tribunal happens before we solve this, we are looking at casualties. What's one unlocked door compared to that? <laughs> on the other hand, we could just leave and tell Evrat we opened the door. No one seems to be tailing us to see if we actually did it. Ah. Uh. Yes. Presenting a fabrication is known to get results here and there. You took this task. You make the call. Yeah, the I want to go in here. You can just open it and be done with this. Besides, if you never open it, you're never going to find out what's behind the door. Exactly. You try to be as silent as you can. It takes a bit of rattling of the handle to loosen the bolt. Finally, the door unlocks with a small clack. Thoughts race through your head. The sound of the key turning still echoes in the yard. Hopefully no one heard. Good job. Let's go now. I'm sure there's nothing interesting in there. Shush, brain. As you hold the open door, you can feel the air moving. Wait, what? A little draft. A whistle. I'm going inside. I don't know if you noticed on my little icon. On Twitch, I've got cat ears. This is why. 
I have an insane amount. I have an insane curiosity. Which, like I said, often gets me into trouble, but eh. How else do we learn stuff? What's this? Poster. Disinfectant. Okay. A row of mugs sits on the shelf. Oh. Each one depicts a human figure. A dark-skinned woman grinning amidst mysterious symbols. A broad-shouldered man shoveling potatoes and others. A little ring. Though cheerful, the images on the ceramic make you vaguely uncomfortable. Okay. The lieutenant picks up one of the mugs, then puts it back down with a look of disdain. I'm beginning to feel better about breaking into this man's apartment. <laughs> yes, your broken mug friend would feel very much at home here. The same humor, the same mocking lines. There's the missing tin soldier. Whoever lives here might have used the whirling's container to dump his trash. And now they've drawn the ire of the Union. Mm. The blood thickens, as they say. An interesting little clue. Let's see where this goes. Clues have a way of magically connecting to other clues down the road. I agree. Perhaps you should break into apartments more often. Oh, definitely. Let's see. Uh, huh. Who knows? I'm not expecting too much from this close in the trash lead either way. It might turn out to be some random local matter, but still a nice coincidence. You could ask Everard who this person is once you're done here. I already kind of tried, but let's see what else I can find. Check the dresser or the nightstand. Oh, a shirt. Plus one logic. Nice little dress shirt. What do I got? What am I wearing now? Uh, plus one. Oh, minus two authority. This is why I don't have authority. I did put this on mainly so I can beat the big dude. You know what? Conceptualization. Logic might not be a bad idea here. I realized I have no other pants. Okay. What's, looks like a desk in the world of walking sticks. Huh. This is the flag of Rivershaw, the suzerainty. What's with the sun? This isn't just one sun, but there are little suns dancing around the big sun. This is the sevenfold sun miracle. It's an optical atmospheric anomaly the first settlers saw. Happens in cold weather. Six small suns around the big one. This complex halo phenomena is how old Revachol got its flag. Huh. The old flag is to the right. Mm-hmm. The tenant is an old-fashioned guy. Yeah. The flag doesn't seem to mind. It's just a colorful it fabric with a sun sewn onto it. Like all feudal flags, it looks like a children's drawing. Okay, we've got something else down here. Oh, in a darkened room. Oh, magnesium. Nice. And looks like... Suitcase. With Nosafed. I will take that. Anything else of interest? I don't think so. And no other... Hmm. Not sure what this really gained me. Other than he's an old fella. I'm not seeing anything else lit, so... Nope, 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 nope. Okay, off I go. Well, with the door unlocked, I'm guessing Everard's going to take care of this guy. I'm kind of hoping I bump into him before that happens. Okay. So we're nearing about 10 a.m. on day two. I'm not seeing anything else of interest yet. At least not that I can get to. There's the whirling rags I can go back to. And there's Everard I can speak to, as well as the uh, big burly uh, scab guy. 
Is this, who is this? Working class woman. Okay. Oh. Uh. Yes. Hello. Me. No one. I'm just a working class woman. <laughs> she doesn't really want to be disturbed that much. If she's such a working class woman, why isn't she working? Looking for something to read. Good, good. It is. I'm a policeman. I know you are. You need the help of a policeman? What with? What with? A lot of things. For example, people tend to go. <laughs> Maybe your husband's missing? My husband? No, he's not. So where could he be? I don't know. At home now? Out drinking with his friends? Working? Where is this going, officer? So. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna press this one. I don't really need to know where my husband is. Not all the time. Wouldn't you like to? No. <laughs> ah, of course yeah. he's not. It's There's not other like stuff he's I wanna. A pocket watch. I wouldn't just lose him. Other stuff I wanna pursue. It's got to be something else then. Why else would you be asking her if it wasn't? <laughs> <laughs> the Done. woman before you nods and returns to her reading. Oh, interesting little stuff like that. I have no idea. It probably has nothing to do with the story, I'm sure. But it's just neat to see atmosphere like that. And watch that has everything to do with the story. Uh, you know what? What do we got here? I know... An old call box with a matrix of push buttons lists that's still all the companies in the East Delta Commerce Center. I'm not seeing anything new. Empty card. Pretty sure that's the building they were talking about. I could be entirely wrong. Oh, and I still haven't gotten any money. Actually, is there something I could do with a radio? Inside, you see a set of steering levers, a radio microphone, a pull-out toolbox, and I want the to. soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. This is precinct 57. How may I assist you? Hey, Sylvie, she may have reported a murder. I'm going to the radio for... Hmm. Oh, I forgot about that little line of questioning. Of course. What is the number, officer? Yes, hold on. Her number is 005-1944-298. Received. Hold on, officer. <laughs> Give it a minute. She might be busy at the moment. Takes a bit to get to the phone. Officer, I have Sylvie Malaika on the line for you. Hey! Yes, hello? Oh, look, she's a million miles away. A detective from the Whirling in Rags. Oh, right. Hello, officer. What can I do for you? There is no resentment in her tone. <laughs> she wants you to ask her out. No question uh, of course. about it. Uh, was it you who called the police? You quit your job at the Whirling. Why? Huh. Okay, I'll start with that. You mean, why did I leave the bar? Honestly, I'm... Not really comfortable discussing it with you, sir. Was she the one that was assaulted? Why not? I, uh, let's just say I left because I needed to get away from someone. You know who? You think you hear a sliver of accusation in her words? What? No, why would you even think Oh, that? no, what? Yeah. You have to stand up. So, do you, wait. You told me he asked you out. Are you saying it didn't happen? Okay, so no, it wasn't Gart. I'm pretty sure just because someone asked you out is an overreaction. Please, don't bring Gar into this. It's none of your business. Okay. Why can't you just mind your own business? I already 
lady said, I don't want to talk about this. Okay, You're okay. Everything up again. Oh, 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 I'm screwing that up. Yep, let's see. Was it you who called the police? No, not me. No, sorry, I don't. <clears throat> not a lot of people have phones around here. Copper thieves take the wires. Ah. People don't have the money to have the cables put in again. The union they use phone. the union's phone, or the one on the coast. So the union has a phone, and there's one further down the coast. Got it. It was someone else. We'll find them sooner or later, officer. It just might take a while. Okay. Yeah, go on. Yeah, I don't know about the paperwork, but... Well... You tried to jam it down the toilet, sir. <laughs> Clogging it completely. After I had unclogged the toilet and retrieved the paperwork, I threw it out in the trash, thinking you didn't need it. Okay. I am sorry about that. Anything else, detective? Have you seen my yes, badge? I know who you are. You're a police officer. The law. Oh. No. I haven't. Sorry. Real police would have uniforms too, by the way. Where's yours? I'm wearing mine. Uh... I'm gonna let it slide. Right. It's better to not ask too many questions. Lest people start thinking you're a cop or something. Hey, uh, you want to grab a coffee? <laughs> oh, I don't know if I should. <laughs> oh, why not? No, not this again. Everyone saw your cool gun, detective. Oh, dear God. You were trying to impress some people with it. Everyone was eating and... Sounds like it's going to be bad. Do oh, boy. you want to know? Okay. And... You were waving it around in everyone's face, begging them to describe it. Oh, Jesus. You it really? You, and then you started making suicide jokes. It, it got pretty graphic. Oh, those again. I have been trying to wean you off them. What? You know, when you put your gun, your actual gun, on your temple and pretend to shoot your brains out. Oh, Jesus. Off of that. People don't like that. People tried to back away from you. Or even slip out of the door. But you screamed. Oh, good grief. I am the goddamned law, and you have to listen to me. You are all suspects in a murder investigation. Uh just conclude. No idea. All I know is next you were waving around money instead, saying things like big bucks cannot lie and guns <laughs> can't Jesus. buy money, but money can always buy guns. How fucked up was I? It almost looked like you pawned it, but believe me, I did not ask. Well, you know, after all that, do you want to no, grab a cup of coffee? Not. <laughs> that came so fast, you can't but wonder what else she would be good at. Okay. Wait, wait what? <laughs> Baseball, ring a bell quiz shows, catching keys in the air, uh, yeah, an okay, angry I'm done. cat. I do hope so. Please don't call me again. Oh, wait, Bye. what? Oh. Yes. yes. You have obviously done something to upset her at the whirling in rags when she was still working there. Okay. I'm not mad. It's just you were so drunk and so emotional all the time. And then Skua. the skewer thing happened. It just made me want to quit. Wait, what? The stuffed bird. The great skewer. You threw it against the wall while screaming, fuck that bird, and laughing like a maniac. I think you said it had been giving you shit ever since you got there. Uh... It was a pretty bird, there since I started working in Whirling. I really liked her. We call her Scotty. Aww. Yes, obviously. You were the worst client I've ever seen. And I have seen so many assholes in this place. I've had sailors fighting. Okay. Union guys grabbing my ass, kids stealing booze. Once a guy was glued to the karaoke machine every night for two months. But you... Oh boy. Well, you were worse than all of them. Honestly, you were getting borderline aggressive. Even about little things like not turning down the volume at 3 a.m. I even liked one of those songs you kept listening to on repeat. No more. I I hate it now. 
Hold on, which song? We Go On by the OO. I can't listen to it anymore. You've turned it into a parody. Uh, sorry about the song. The hell with that song. Then there was your room. Your project. An experiment to see how bad it can get in there. I tried to send the cleaner, but you wouldn't let me. Threatened to make me understand. I had no idea what you meant. And I don't want to know. Yipes. And then you scream something about how you're actually a real cool guy. And no one understands it. One of the coolest guys there is. The coolest guy in Jamrock. Something about disco, too. Wow, I feel... I actually feel bad. I am horrible. And then I had to deal with your toilet. The one you clogged with police documents oh, causing Jesus. water damage downstairs in the kitchen. I won't even mention you waving your gun around, harassing customers, threatening to sing karaoke, threatening to kill yourself. No, you really weren't. You were simply the worst. Ow. Uh. I'm sorry. God, I, I knew I shouldn't have brought it up. Just try not to call me again, and let's pretend it never happened. Okay. Uh... Looking for a song. All, all sorts of things. From disco, rock too. So much disco and rock. Yes, that's the one you like to sing along to the most. The later it got, the more that one came on. Interesting. Huh. You still have to find the copy, though, before you can blast it. Okay, uh... I it, I don't know if I should mention that. Oh, Wait, really? No. This is absolutely not true. I like Garth. I really do. No. I was actually flattered. I've always liked him. It was just bad timing. With the corpse and all that. I can see that happening. You know, corpses and stuff. There's a pause. You can almost see her on the other side. The telephone cord coiled around her index. I didn't know what to say to him later. Then you came and destroyed the place. So I left without explaining. I should have told him, maybe. I can tell him. Okay, but please don't mess it up. Please don't take out your gun or something. <laughs> you hear a sigh of relief on the other end of the radio. Wordless. The call breaks, then the already familiar voice. Anything else I can help you with, officer? Uh, was there something I could do with the 41st? Just I thought there was moment, like an investigation officer. thing. 10 4, come in, officer. Over. Uh, okay, 10 okay. 4, sir. I hear you. Relay your question. Over. Wait, before you say anything stupid, think it through. Information. Okay. Be smart about this. Ask if he's there alone. <laughs> 4 sir. I'm not hearing your question. Oh, wait. My badge description right in the last name of the future. And his family. Out. Out. You know. Understood, sir. Over. Yeah, no. Roger that. 10 10. Over and out. I thought there might have been a different line of uh, interaction. Hey. So we've been monitoring you internally. Wait, what? And now we know your copo type. Uh, what? Guess. Some kind of weapon cop? Sorry cop? I'm sorry, I'm not sure. What? Cool cop? No, you're the sorry cop. Oh. The cop who's sorriest. Let's make it official then, shall we? Uh. Uh. What? What? <laughs> what? Jealous of the sorry cop? I think they'll be fine. Don't worry. They'll be super, super fine. It'll be totally okay. That's an opt in. You can dual copo type from sorry to anything. Um. I'm gonna opt in because I'm not sure what that's gonna do. Of course you are. It's okay. See if you can get fatigue? something out of this, like info. Or maybe every time you say you're sorry, you get a million bucks. Hey, that works for me. That won't happen. Damn it. Oh, I was hoping. Uh, what was I going to do next? Wait, hey, officer, got a minute? What? Who's... Wait, what? Who said that? I didn't exactly see where that came from. 
I saw a hay officer got him in it, and... But from who? I don't even see any... Well, they're those guys, but they're playing stuff. There's the cellar dude, there's the pawn shop. Uh... Not gonna be able to do anything with this for a while. Not till Wednesday. Not till tomorrow, apparently. Okay, well that kind of sucks because it would have been nice to let me know who had actually said that. It wasn't the guy sitting on the stairs. Alright, you know what? Uh, let's take care of Garth uh, in regards to Sylvie. I did say I would mention it. Those folks are still there. Hi, Gart. Can I help you? Wait, what? But what about the bird? Yes, the bird. I found it lying on the floor with a broken wing the morning she left. You broke the skewer! <laughs> I'm being honest. I assure you it was him. Why on earth did you have to break the skewer? You know, it's a mystery. I can't believe it. I was so sure it was Sylvie. Even worse, I thought she was trying to send me a message. A symbol of hope and all. A tender type of hope. Something stirs in you. Perhaps this is why you broke it. My brain is so weird in here. That bird ain't no symbol of hope. It's a menace. <laughs> And a traitor. All right. Did she say anything else about me? You know, did, did she say anything about me? Uh, she was flattered. It was just bad timing. Really? I, I should, I should give her a call then. Thanks. I guess. Was there anything else you wanted? Or uh, yeah, I bought my bill for tonight. Got the twenty real. Uh, I have this giant novelty <laughs> chest. Um, no, I, oh shit, yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna get 20, not yet. Then why are you wasting my time? Hey dude, I'm yours. helping you out here. Okay, let's see what I can do here. Another level. Logic. I think I'm done with putting anything else in Encyclopedia, because good god, I get a lot of info. Um, pain threshold, physical instrument, electrochemistry, sh what was shivers? Tune into the city, half light. Oh, I got authority back. Conceptualization. Suasion composure. Reaction speed. Perceptions are six. I'm gonna go with visual calculus. Either that or inland empire. Gut feelings and such. You know what? Uh, hunches, gut feelings. We'll go with visual calculus. Okay. Now, let's see. Is there a way to get... I still keep thinking there's a way to talk to that person that was up there on the roof. Just have figured out how to get there. The door is closed. Still nothing. The lieutenant gives you should punch a fucking hole in it. Fucking <laughs> Uh I'll suppress the urge. in your ears recedes slowly. Ah, <sighs> okay. Um pretty sure that would let me up there. That's tempting to punch a hole. Okay, let's see. I've got we gonna make some money. Thankfully, it's still early in the morning. But I'm also getting close to needing to fit, needing to wrap this up. So I'm gonna go real quick, position myself over to. Oh wait. Yeah, I wonder if we can get any more information from these two. I've got nothing to say to you. Why are you wasting your time? Are you the Hardy girl? 
I am not. You could be Liz. You could be anything. You could even be a model. Even a model? Glenn, <laughs> I went to law school. I am an attorney. He's right. With a face like that, she could be on the cover of Le Debutante International. Uh... That sounds more like something she'd respect. So fucking what? Lots of models are actually really smart people, fuckwad. No, Glenn. They aren't. It's not her. She's not a hardy girl. Definitely. Okay. Uh, she's pretty unmoving. I don't think... I did get some experience out of that, though. Still have to find the hardy girl. It's Ervart to respond back to. Seeing what I can squeeze in the next for the next five minutes. I feel like I'm making some progress. I would love to be making more progress. Uh, I want to. Let's talk to him real quick. Right to work. Right to work. Shame on uh, you. Let's see. Okay, so if he's the mercenary hired by Wild Pines. And then there's also the thing about the photo. You know what? Let me take a look at one more thing before. Oops, that's not what I want to do. I'm just going to leave for now. Let's look at the journal. Okay, open that door. Report Hardy Boy about drug trade, period, vigilantes. I thought I did that, but I guess not. Maybe not in completion. Alright, this might take some thinking. But anyway, I needed to end it. Because, like I said, it's been a busy week. Um, I did want to get something out here. A little bit of uh, headway. Spoke to Joyce. Got a little bit more information. So that's a thing. Uh, fortunately, I've got to end it for tonight. And then uh, hopefully I can pick this up again tomorrow. And we can get on even further. I have no idea where I am at in this game. Um, as far as I know, I'm still way in the beginning and still got a crap load more to go. I do appreciate you joining me. Hope you uh, had some fun watching me run around and asking goofy questions. Again, I'll be throwing this up on YouTube. Please do follow here. Um, you can watch me play live. I do uh, play other games as well. And I throw these up on YouTube. Check out my channel there and uh, subscribe if you want to see any other games that I play or have played in the past. Thanks again for checking this out, and uh, hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>